Good afternoon, morning, or whatever time it may be where you're viewing me from. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a Greek favourite pork gyros. Delicious meat filled kebabs, which are both filling and easy to make. Both the pork and the flatbreads will have you coming back for more. Throughout this recipe, give me a comment below. What's your favourite Greek recipe? What would you like to see me cook next? As with all my recipes, the key is in the preparation. And so we start. Get your cut of pork. It really doesn't matter, but as I buy this in bulk, uh, have you seen my char siu recipe? I use a pork loin. Trim the fat. You can always use this later to make crispy pork fat. Slice into fillets before slicing each fillet into small strips. Now, doing the I really don't know where this recipe comes from. A simple search tells me that generally it is pork gyro meat, tzatziki, tomato wedges, thin strips of red onion and french fries all wrapped up in a piece of pita bread. There's a lot of variations and the idea of authenticity, should I say, is up for debate. But who cares when a dish tastes this good? This is my take. To the sliced pork, we add finely chopped rosemary, thyme, salt, oregano, honey. As an alternative to honey, you may wish to use the juice and zest of a fresh orange, olive oil and a good squeeze of lemon juice. Give it a strong mix through before letting it rest for at least an hour. Whilst the pork is marinating, we can prepare a simple take or my take on a Greek salad. Finely slicing tomatoes after the seeding because the children hate the seeds. Red onions, lettuce, olives. Although in this recipe you can see none because we ran out. Crumbled feta and a touch of salt mix everything together and at this stage you may wish to add a dressing but I generally felt that this was not needed. Now the satsiki is extremely easy and delicious. Grate a cucumber before placing the grated cucumber into a sieve, mixing through with salt and leaving for 30 minutes to allow any moisture from the cucumber to release. Squeeze any remaining moisture out using a cheesecloth or a clean tea towel. Place this in a bowl alongside Greek yogurt, garlic and a good drizzle of olive oil and again a pinch of salt. Now the final stage before cooking is to make these delicious flatbreads and I must be honest these have been made several times since because they are so simple to make. This recipe comes direct from recipe tin so I can't claim the uh, ownership on this one but it's delightful and yeast free. Mix in a bowl two cups of plain all purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, gently melt 50 grams of unsalted butter in three quarters of a cup of milk and add this to the flour mix. Now it is worthwhile going out and buying a set of cups, measuring cups should we say, if you are in the UK. Yes we do measure in grams over here but 
a lot of SPs use cups, so it is great to have these on hand. Gently knead this mixture together. You don't need to overdo this step. Simply bring the dough together until it forms a nice, a smooth ball. Then cover with a damp tea cloth or some cling film and allow this dough to proof for around 30 minutes to one hour. When rested, take this dough, place it on a floured counter and divide the mixture into six to eight even balls. Flatten each ball with your hand before rolling flat to about the thickness of a one penny piece. Bring a frying pan to medium heat and place a flatbread, there's no oil necessary at this stage, into the pan. When you see the dough bubbling or rising, flip and continue to cook the other side until further bubbles or rising occurs. Now place that cooked flatbread on a plate and cover with a dry tea towel. Because while stacking the flatbreads, the towel allows the breads to retain moisture and avoid drying out. Now if you're using these later on, a sprinkle of water and either a quick refry or 30 seconds in the good old microwave makes them soft and pillowy once more. And that's all the hard work done. So whilst the chips or fries are cooking, place some of the meat mixture into the pan and cook through. This really doesn't take that long, but be careful to not overcook as pork does dry out very quickly and nobody likes dry meat. Once cooked, add your mixture to a flatbread alongside some of a Greek style salad, fries, a generous dollop of that delicious tzatziki, and, if you fancy a kick, a hot sauce of choice. For me, it has to be one of the Daddy Cool's range. And for this recipe, I find the Bargin Hot Pepper Sauce pairs beautifully with the meat, salad and tzatziki. And there you have it, delicious porky rolls. That good one is simply not enough, with the sweetness of the meat, the saltiness of the feta, the crunch of salad and fries, and the mix of creamy and spicy sauces, this is sure to be a... Don't forget, wherever or whenever you are viewing this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share, subscribe, or if on social media, give me a follow. If you're on YouTube, click the links to the right to see more of my delicious recipes. Click the subscribe button and give that notification bell a ding ding to be informed of future content. And comment below what's on your plate this evening. See you next episode.